Okay, so here we are again in our navigation problem section of the workbook, and we are working a course to steer problem. So we're trying to figure out what the course to steer from one point to another per the ship's compass. So that is why you see after these answers, it says PSC, that's per ship's compass. So at the end of solving this, we need to make sure that we TVMDC this problem. All right, so we're working problem number two here where it's given us our first position, which I've gone and already plotted. It's given us our second position. I've already plotted that one. And I have drawn a line in between the first point and the second point. Now, if it helps remember to write a one, then a two to make sure you're, you measure in the right direction, go ahead and, uh, and do that. So I'm gonna set this over here. So what we wanna do is figure out what this direction is from here to here, and that will be in true. So what I like to use is this black line that's about a half inch back from the leading edge. I will take that and line it up between the two points as best I can here. Now I'm gonna shift my weight from the plastic over the wheels here. I'm gonna lift. I can do two things. I can roll this back to the compass rose and lay that right through the X in the center and I can see where it intersects the compass rows on the outer ring. Now it's just about zero four zero. Now personally, I don't like rolling halfway across the chart. So the other way we can do this, I'm gonna go ahead and line back up with that. I'm going to pick the nearest meridian. So the line's running from the top to the bottom of this page. I'm gonna roll it back until the cross here above the six here is over top of the meridian. So just like that. And I can see that the meridian intersects right through the zero four zero. Now, how do I know to go up the top section of numbers versus the bottom? Well, we are going in an easterly direction. So that means I'm gonna go off the top numbers, which are zero to one eight zero on the easterly side. All right, so we have a true of zero four zero degrees. So I'm gonna go back to my notebook or my scrap sheet of paper, and I'm gonna write out my T, V, M, D, C. And so we're starting off with true, a zero, four, zero degrees true. Now remember, going down this table, we're always going to add anything west and subtract anything easterly. Now our variation is 11 degrees west. And I make a point to make sure to add the W or the E to always make sure to add or subtract correctly. So 11 added to 40 is 0, 5, 1 degrees magnetic. So now we're going to go to our deviation table. The closest thing to 0, 5, 1 as I go down to deviation table is our 0, 6, 0. So 0, 3, 0 is too low. 0, 9, 0 too high. 0, 6, 0 is the closest. So we're going to go with a three degrees east. So I'm gonna write in three degrees east. Get into a habit of writing that, that E in there so we make sure we subtract in this case. So zero five one minus three gives us a zero four eight degrees for our PSC here. So now we're gonna go back to our questions. And for number two, no, nope. oh, there's our 048 PSC. That is our answer is B.